What? Why is it not okay for girls, but it's okay for boys? It's called the double standard, Bobby. Yeah. Everyone's hot for Hades 2's Hephaestus. With the Hades 2 technical test underway, we're asking this question. How are the Greek gods of the game even hotter than in the original, Hades? Regardless of the answer, there are lots of new characters being added to the franchise's lore, like Hephaestus, the god of the forge. Hephaestus is special because he plays a role in most other gods' stories. He's the one who crafted their powerful weapons, like Athena's spear or Zeus' lightning bolt. He's also one of the few Greek gods who isn't perfect. It's said he was thrown from empty Olympus because of his appearance, and he was injured on the fall. He's often depicted with a disability impacting his leg. His design in Hades 2 takes this backstory into account. In Hades 2, Hephaestus is hot, fat, and disabled, something the community is celebrating. Hades, while praised for its character design, wasn't especially known for its body diversity. Most, if not all, of the characters are depicted with thin bodies. The only fat bodies in Hades were of enemies, like the Wretched Louts, described in the Hades Codex as entities that have been reduced to merely their most base of negative impulses. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Way to not be subtle about it. You guys have absolutely no shame, do you? To be this hypocritical and be out in the open about it is astonishing to me, really. So this whole time, the lefties didn't take an issue with fan service or the male gaze. They just wanted all the male gaze to be towards queer characters, queer identity, and what they uh, find attractive. That noise is uh, like natural canopy. <laughs> Now, let me ask you, is it any coincidence this is the exact same Polygon journalist who also reported on Stellar Blade, but didn't exactly have any sort of glowing praise when reporting on that game? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, they put pleasing to the human eye in quotes when referring to Eve and Stellar Blade. Versus Hades 2, where they spend time celebrating just how progressive and queer it is and highlighting how the game pushes for fat, crippled body types. Doesn't that seem uh, conspicuous to you? I mean, it's not a difficult job to point out the obvious. It's just some people don't have the courage to do it. Don't worry, I don't find it hard to do at all. This is a prime example of it's okay when we do it. Because again, for that crowd, it's about pushing the message. Exaggerated female body types meant for the male gaze? Not praised, not accepted. Insanely hideous and ugly abominations meant for the queer identity? Yes, please. Pandering to straight, cis, heterosexual males? Bad. Pandering to whatever the hell we are? Good. See, for those for the longest time who were wondering, what the hell? does this crowd want? What do they deem acceptable and what do they deem not acceptable? And here it is. They don't want characters who are fit, in shape, sculpted to look like Greek gods, meant for you to drool over. They want obese, crippled, androgynous designs meant for the mentally ill. I mean, uh, for the um, very stunning, very brave, very progressive crowd. And there's nothing inherently wrong with wanting to pander or appeal to certain demographics, if that is your targeted demographic. What doesn't appeal to me appeals to them, and I'm happy for them actually. But in return, we don't get that. In return, if you're a male and you're drooling over even Stellar Blade, the internet attacks you. They label you a porn addict. They claim you've never touched a woman. And yet when they drool over what are these very ugly, I mean, very progressive, uh, very beautiful, very stunning and brave character designs, they get entire articles being happy for them. It's applauded, praised, and honored. And it's a real shame that respect can't be shown in return towards straight males who drool over Stellar Blade. A double standard at its finest. I mean, just take a look at Twitter's attitude towards this versus Stellar Blade. It's night and day. It's about ethics and video games journalism. 
they want their women to be virtually silent over really sexualized dolls and video games that they can off to it without having to wash their ass or clip their nails or even show a single attractive quality. Obviously this app is owned by a man who did the exact same thing to AOC. So no, I don't expect reports to do anything but flood it anyway. Now, uh, Alyssa, dumb bitch. Sure. Very strange uh, attitude towards Stellar Blade from Alyssa Mercante, but I expected no less from her. Now, what was her reaction towards Hades 2 and its obvious fan servicing? Mommy? Sorry. It's called the double standard, Bobby. You see, due to the results of uh, bonking and having to go to horny jail, people have now adapted to safe horny. And this is an example of it right here. This is safe. It panders to the message. Eve, on the other hand, is apparently every single thing wrong with gamers and men. But, I mean, you see a difference in our attitude. I, I can be happy for them. I and mean it, too. And yet their attitude in return is to put down straight men who have no control over their preferences, but horny jail only exists for them. <laughs> You're not even listening. Everyone is horny. No one is listening the double standard bobby <laughs> okay look <laughs> all this blood i mean I, I shouldn't knock it because it's not meant for me but if i was gay i gotta be honest with you you guys are drooling over some serious mid at the very least when the straight men drool over eve it makes logical sense you guys on the other hand drool over obese handicapped folks it's one of the strangest kinks like i said again to each his own i ain't gonna judge on that but uh, after the bear sex and now this there's a big d word i want to call you but uh i'm gonna hold back because i would prefer you guys get pandered to in other games versus trying to change what I like. You can uh, play your validates, you can have your Hades too. Just leave the booty alone in established franchises, please. Uh, if you prefer making NSFW art over crippled, handicapped people, whatever. I mean, I, I have no idea how that's seen as morally superior to liking Eve's ass, but if nobody's being hurt, whatever. I mean, that's the attitude you should have towards us, but it will never be their attitude because again, they're taught and programmed to hate what's straight and male. The funny thing is, people weren't really saying Stellar Blade itself would be bad. Only that the game's chosen example of sexy was Remedial. Remedial because she doesn't look like a man or because she isn't 250 pounds. A hot character with a fat ass and skin tight clothing is certainly sexy. But at the very basic 101 level of it, it's additional factors, several of which have nothing to do with physical appearance at all. Why do you think so many folks are thirsting over the ghoul? Sometimes it's not, it's all well and good to be pretty, but to move the needle, there's got to be more. More what, like more rolls of fat? More hair on the armpits? More chin? More pronouns? Whatever physical attraction is, towards these folks, whatever, again, to each his own. I am not going to hate on it because it's not for me. I'm not going to tell the game developers this design is bad, offensive, outdated, and perpetuates sexism or whatever. And yet they want to turn around and lecture the developers of Stellar Blade on how to make a character appealing by their standards. It's absolutely ridiculous. Again, the issue that they take with it that they'll never admit is that it's for straight males. They want beauty standards all around them to change, to adapt to what they prefer. They don't want anything for you. Beauty standards for your demographic is something else entirely. It's time to just accept that. The world around you doesn't have to change and become more of this in order to please you. And yet that won't ever stop them from peeking over the fence and checking out what male gamers are liking. Whatever it is that we're enjoying, they seek to destroy and ruin because they just don't like seeing men have fun.
You notice nobody ever goes over there trying to change their LGBT media, and yet they're always trying to change media meant for cis demographics. This is why people take it so personally offensive and are very vocal on social media about it. Y you may cry about the anti-woke crowd, but as long as you continue to make their life your business, the longer you continue to perpetuate these double standards, the more of it you will see. Because I don't know what their end game is. For all of cis straight media to be eradicated? Well, I wish you good luck because there's no way in hell you're ever going to be able to go toe to toe with the entire Eastern market. They aren't going to change their ways for you. That may work here in America, but in Eastern countries, the designs you guys prefer are most likely laughed at. Come on, gamers. The wokes are stealing all the sexy from the games. Hades too. Yes, I gave it the most inclusive progressive take on Greek myth ever written, and also the maximum haunt you can possibly get while still somehow squeaking in with the T rating. For the record, I, I have nothing against Stellar Blade, I have nothing for it either. It looks like an okay action game with exactly the same character design that Young Tai Kim has been doing for 20 plus years. It's about as scandalous as a DOA game, raunchy by roughly 1996 standards. There's nothing wrong with thinking Stellar Blade looks fun, but you do look a bit weird and creepy if you act like it's the last bastion of true sexiness in games, when it's probably less horny than an ultra mainstream team rated roguelike. Games are just horny now in general. Hold up, let me get this straight. It's weird and creepy if you drool over Stellar Blade, but it's not weird or creepy or degenerate in any sort of way to begin so publicly horny over a handicapped, obese character. There are people already drawing NSFW art, horny posting all over Twitter, and that's not weird. Notice how nobody's coming at you telling you, go touch real men, go touch real women. Nobody is asking them to change what their standards of beauty are. And yet they ask everybody else in the world to change their standards. They essentially don't want character designs that make them feel like shit about their own bodies and their own image. That's really what it is. I mean, let's face it. Why do you think they're cheering on an obese cripple design over a nearly perfect female figure? Because it's more in line with what represents them. What they feel is within their league. And uh, well, personally, after seeing what turns you guys on, I do not feel weird or creepy in the slightest about what I'm attracted to. And neither should anyone else. And well, you know, some may argue they feel morally superior liking Eve over, you know, bare sex and uh, obese cripple folks. Whatever, if that's what they like, that's what they like. I, I guess the ESG fairy can go around tapping everyone with its ugly wand and just giving this crowd what they like. But if the demographic that drools over suitable, attractive female types for our eyes, they practically want us jailed. Because in their progressive utopia, there is no room for straight men. Just to understand, when they talk about for a modern audience, when they talk about forcing behaviors. Just know this is what they mean. These are the standards they wish to normalize and change within everyone else's community rather than keeping it within their own community. If they had their way, Stellar Blade's Eve would be a trans woman. And you know it. Anyways, that's the depressing video for today. I hope it bothered you as much as it bothered me. And if that's the case, then why don't you like, comment, share, and subscribe because we're on the road to 80k. Let's make it happen. Now see you in the next one. <laughs> Every Congress sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs>